Hi, I'm Jonathan Chen. And I am Demian Ransuli. We will talk about how you can make the most of a progressive web apps in native environments with real-world examples. When we talk about mobile development, we usually think of multiple platforms like progressive web apps, native apps on Android and iOS. These platforms rely on different technologies like JavaScript, Java, Objective-C, or Swift. That means you may need three different teams to create cross-platform features, which could be very expensive. But from the user's perspective, these platforms may each run similar applications that address similar use cases. There are many ways to reduce these duplicate development efforts. We're going to show you how you can better blend your progressive web apps into native environments. Currently, the most popular way of embedding existing webflows is to use a web view for Android and iOS apps. If you're already using full screen web views to embed your web flows in your Android app, we recommend using trusted web activities, which runs the full browser inside your native app instead of a rendering engine like in the web view. If you already have a good progressive web app, you can bring the same user experience to Android users with trusted web activities instead of building a full Android app. Let's see how these solutions work. Imagine that you build a web application with home, category, and product pages. It's great experience for web users, but that's not enough to cover all the users. So you hire the team to build an iOS app with identical features to the web, and another team to build the an Android app for the Play Store. At the end, there are three teams that work with quite different tech stacks. What if you made some changes to the web? For example, a new feature on the product page. To maintain the consistency across the platforms, the other two teams need to implement similar functionalities. There's now an increased maintenance cost. So what can we do? Since the product page would have similar functionalities and layout in the platforms, you may consider using a web view as a container in the Android and iOS apps to embed existing web content, just like a mini browser inside the app. In addition to reusable web content, there are other advantages of using the web view. It is easy to keep the web content up to date without going through the app deployment process. You may also mix up native controls with web content. For example, you can embed the product page inside the app while keeping the native controls like navigation bar. However, you might need some extra effort to take a part of the web content out from your existing web layout. If you would like to embed the entire web functionalities, including the header, footer, menu from the web into the apps, you may consider using the full screen web view to wrap the entire web application inside the native app shell. In fact, this is a common approach used by many Cordova-based solutions. Web view-based apps may look like native apps, but certainly there are some caveats. Since the web view is just running engine, users may have different experiences than in the full browser such as Chrome. For example, push notification and the payment APIs are not supported. Form autofills is isolated from the regular browsers. Most importantly, cookies are not shareable between web views and browsers. Hence, you may need a workaround for user authentications, like passing tokens between the web view and the app. Using the full screen web view has been a popular way to embed web content inside the app, but with limitations. Next, Damien will walk us through how we can use the power of the web without losing its capabilities in native environments. If you want to have all the advantages of the web without the limitations of a web view, you should consider using trusted web activities. A TWA is not just a rendering engine like a web view. It's the full browser running in full screen mode. For that reason, it's feature complete and evergreen. This means that it's always up to date and it will give you access to the latest web APIs. Another important aspect is that unlike a web view, the TWA can share storage and cookies with the main browser. At the moment, the main limitation of a TWA is that you can't mix web content with native controls on the same screen. For example, having a native toolbar at the bottom of a TWA, it's not possible. In cases like this, what you can do is to recreate these native controls with web technology to provide a full web experience in TWA screens. Regarding browser support, at this moment, TWAs are fully available in Chrome 
and in beta in Firefox. Other browsers vendors have started working on it and will provide support for Trusted Web Activities very soon. Here is the flow for a common use case for Trusted Web Activities. In this case, users can navigate from an Android screen to a TWA, and also from the TWA to another Android screen. All this happens without taking users away from the context of the application. Going one step farther, TWA is not only useful for certain screens and flows inside your app. If you have a progressive web app that is fast, reliable, and actually looks and feels like an app, you can use Trusty Web Activities to launch your PWA from the Android launcher. In this case, users can arrive at the full screen PWA by clicking on a home screen icon. As a result, they will have the feeling that they are opening a native application instead of a website. A good example of usage of this TWA use case is Terra, one of the biggest media companies from Brazil. Terra stopped maintaining their native Android app in 2019. After a while, they decided to replace it with their progressive web app through Trusted Web Activity. This way, they could deliver the same great experience to web and Android users with a single code base while reducing the app size by 70%. As a result, users reacted very positively to the new UX. The ratings in the store went up 25%. And that's not the only case. We already see many companies using TWA with great success across all the regions. Oyo, Quinto Andar, Tinder, MBT, and Rakuten Pasha are only a few examples of companies actively using trusted web activities around the world. So wrapping up, we have seen different ways in which you can make the most of your web and PWA investment in native environments. Here are some recommended approaches. The most common approach is having a good progressive web app for users coming from the web and also native Android and iOS apps for those searching for your app in the stores. You can also reuse parts of your website, like different flows, inside your app. This approach is commonly achieved by using web views. But remember, a web view is not a full browser, just a rendering engine, and this has some limitations. So if you are using full screen web views, the recommended approach is to use trusted web activities. TWAs give you access to all the features, latest APIs, and also share storage and cookies with the main browser. Finally, if you have a very good progressive web app and would like to bring the same experience to your Android app users, you can use a trusted web activity to launch your PWA in full screen mode from the Android launcher. Now you have a picture of how to blend your PWAs into native environment. Please also check out the main stage sessions, PWA and the Installable Web by PJ McLuckland and Sam Thurgood. Also, Bridging the Native App Gap by Sam Richard. Thank you for watching.